Early clouds and sunshine on Thursday. Chilly with stray flakes possible. Good Wednesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldridge, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see from the ultimate Doppler radar, it looks like it's raining around Maryville just at about quarter after 8 p.m. And most of it not even reaching the ground. It's been so dry at the lower levels. Maybe some drizzle, but that won't last for much longer. The ultimate Doppler radar presented by Tidal Wave Auto Spa, the best vacuum and, of course, best car wash in East Tennessee. It's like getting two car washes for the price of one. Uh, check them out at TidalWaveAutoSpa.com. Most of which we've seen over the last four hours has not been reaching the surface, but most of it, again, coming up from the Southern Valley, just around Crossville, Harriman, and sliding across I-75. So most of this will be on its way toward the mountains where it will condense and it will produce a few flakes in the higher terrain. You can see as we expand the view, more snow across the Great Lakes, up toward Michigan, Wisconsin, and a few winter weather concerns in purple and pink from anywhere from Kansas, northern Texas, and into New Mexico. Uh, still some rain across parts of central Florida. Meanwhile, that was a very cold morning this morning. We dropped to 26 in Oak Ridge. That's what I was expecting. But we fell to 24 in Knoxville. It was even colder in places like Oneida, Jacksboro, La Follette, and uh, Sevierville, Pigeon Forge. They fell to 21 degrees this morning. Can you imagine? Pretty cold. If you slept in, this is what you missed. But we did finish on a cold note. I was expecting 46. We hit 41. Five degrees off, I'd say that for me is a swing and a miss. But it's worth noting, 75 was the record high this very day last year. We hit 75 degrees on the 3rd of January when just days before, just before Christmas of 2022, we were at 4 degrees. So we went from 4 to 75 in just a matter of weeks. Pretty amazing. And negative 14 occurred 147 years ago in 1877. That's still the record low for this date. 40 the high in Oak Ridge, 41 Sevierville, 36 though for Crossville's high today in the heart of Cumberland County. If you look around the state, uh, we saw numbers reach 51 in Roanoke, 50 in Memphis, 41 Nashville, and 41 in Huntsville. So the cold air kind of followed the clouds that came up from the south and from the west. Lots of clouds still in these areas, right? Uh, these clouds will eventually erode first thing tomorrow. So I do expect we'll feed more sunshine and there's probably more bark than bite from what we see here from these radar echoes as it came up from Alabama and into northern Georgia. Headlines for tonight. Mountain flakes are possible. We have a 20 percent chance. Early clouds to some sunshine Thursday and then it turns soggy on Saturday. You might be asking yourself, what does that look like? Well, it looks like to me a gray day, right? For Saturday, it's not the prettiest of days and the sky will be leaking from time to time periodically and a half inch or thereabouts, maybe certainly be on the table, but this would suggest closer to a third of an inch from Kingston, Maryville to Morristown, and maybe a little more than a half inch for La Follette, Oneida, and Jamestown. So it may vary just depending on the track, but I will tell you this, a lot of this moisture is going to be coming up from the southwest, and there will be a little bit of a snowy mix for some of our far western uh, neighbors in the plateau and far eastern neighbors in the Smokies. I want to show you the 5,000 foot temperatures because we're going to kind of play a cat and mouse with the warmth. Uh, the warmth followed up by the red arrows suggests a little bit of spin, which could produce some drops and flakes. But it's really not until the middle of the month, well after Elvis's birthday, which is Monday, the 8th. And then there's the 10th. That's pretty cold. But when you see purple, that's usually indicative of single digit wind chills and teens and 20s for highs, right? Denver, Rapid City, it gets brutal. But it gets warm, too. And then it really gets like the wheels fall off the wagon by the 16th. Take note, because the purple has now spread from Chicago to St. Louis, and you say, well, at least at least it's not in Knoxville. Well, give it another day. Ah, uh, it looks like it's in Knoxville now. What day is that? That's the 17th. Oh, that's not good. That's, that means higher heating costs, probably. Another log on the fire for me and you. Chicago looks pretty cool. What about the 18th? Any better? No, no, it doesn't look much better. It looks like, uh, it looks pretty purple to me, and it looks like the 19th? Not much better. So we've got some nasty cold days ahead, and any precipitation that we get uh, associated with some of this cold will obviously be one precipitation type, and it would be snow. All right, Storm Prediction Center talking about some no severe storms in lightest green. That's Dallas, Houston tomorrow. Just highlighting where thunder may be present. If you have family in Austin, Lubbock, Dallas, Fort Worth, or Houston, nothing going on here tomorrow. Where there may be some isolated severe storms will be in dark green. That's Destin for Friday. That's New Orleans, Gulfport, and perhaps just to the west of Tallahassee. But there could be some more general thunderstorms in Houston and Tampa. 
sliding back home. Nothing going on here but sunshine. By Friday night, though, that's when the rain will start to move in. Here's, here's 11 o'clock tonight. There's the last of the flakes, they'll say, near the Tri-Cities. But there could be another spark with the front 5 o'clock tomorrow morning coming down into southeast Kentucky. That could spawn a few more flakes at 9 a.m. for the Smokies. That's why I say a few stray flakes can't be ruled out in some locales north and east. By the time we hit Friday morning, that's really cold. We're down about 22. Ouch. And then we really start to see the rain gather in Memphis, in Tupelo, and it slides in here for Friday night. And that's where it gets messy because where you see blue in Cincinnati, Louisville, heavy snow, where you see purple would be a mix, and it's pretty much the track. It's going to keep us on the warm side of the table, uh, but there's still some drops and flakes possible on Sunday, so we want to keep an eye on that too. So for tonight, 29, mostly cloudy, some mountain flakes, and maybe a drop that might reach the valley, but 29 for Oak Ridge, 28 Wartburg for a low temperature, 22 in Middlesboro, and waking up in Crossville about 25 tomorrow morning. My expectation tomorrow, if we only hit 41 today, uh, 44, and I think the, uh, the what's, what's to our advantage is that we'll get the sunshine. We just didn't have much of that this afternoon during the peak heating hours of the day. Early clouds give way to sunshine. A few strikes, uh, flakes possible. Winds 5 to 10 out of the northeast. Here's your high temperatures around the region. 43 Newport, 40 for Sevierville. Looking for a high in Wartburg of 41 in Lafollette, Campbell County, about 41 degrees tomorrow. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville and East Tennessee. 22. That's another hard freeze for all of us on Friday morning. Then it might start as a mix there Friday night, then go into Saturday. We've got 80% chance of rain. Rain showers could mix in with some mountain flakes on Sunday. And then we're in the 50s at least a couple of days. But I tell you what, Tuesday looks like it's the heaviest of rain because we're now suggesting about inch, inch and a half of rain on Tuesday. So Tuesday, in terms of quantity, looks like it'll yield a bigger uh, uh, a drop of rain for us on Tuesday than it will on Saturday. Saturday is probably about a third to a half inch the way things are trending. But then it may end as snowflakes, snow showers, Tuesday night and into Wednesday. By the way, keep track of it all using the Captain Accurate Weather app with Pete Michaels Traffic. He's the best traffic reporter in East Tennessee, bar none. Check us out at CaptainAccurate.com. Uh, and of course, go to Captain Accurate on the App Store and Google Play. And it works very well on your iPad as well. Well, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.